um, some points on the, the related paper. Um, I think what it really needs is, is more uh, precision and um, uh, some issues need to be um, made more explicit. Um, for instance, it's not really clear what exactly you are looking at. What are your precise and explicit research questions? What are your hypotheses? Um, what are your conceptual and theoretical grounds? For instance, that also includes um, uh, the part on agri-food systems. You would need to define in a better way, in a more explicit way, what exactly is it, um, what is rural tr transformation furthermore, and also a bit more um, empirical evidence uh, would be good. Um, and then furthermore, also the issue of what are now the translating mechanisms between uh, the different uh, um, uh, issues you are looking at um, because you really should avoid the impression that we are talking about something like demographic uh, determinism. Y you don't do it, but I think you should really avoid that. And uh, probably you should also discuss a bit, um, for instance, the role of non-agricultural urban uh, economic sectors, um, certain social factors, because uh, we have now a debate going on for some years. Uh, young people are increasingly turning their backs against, uh, in particular, uh, subsistence, the traditional peasant farming. So these things should come in. I know that you cannot really uh, write in, in length about all of these topics. Uh, of course, you would need to cut down a bit of the redundancies and so, but uh, I think that would be really important. Um, furthermore, you were mentioning also the climate change um, impact. Um, and you are saying that, uh, and also writing, that it is not really fully understood and you're ri not writing about that, but of course there are also uh, issues which are making the whole relationship even more complicated, the trapped population issue, so people who are not able to move at all. Um, and also here, um, one may wonder what is your clue, what is your conclusion out of that? I mean, what does it now mean for this whole uh, story? Um, on um, the actual methodology, on the data, um, I think um, you would also need to make more clear here, um, or at least more explicit, um, how were, in particular, these projection uh, simulation data, how were they constructed, what were the pre-assumptions here, because one might um, uh, ex suspect that if they're based on similar or even the same pre-assumptions, then the outcome of uh, putting them all together uh, would be something like a self-fulfilling prophecy. I know it's not the case, but I mean, also here, there's a need to, to make it more explicit. Um, I really like that uh, in both presentations, actually, you stressed the importance of seasonal migration. But actually, I would um, shift that or expand it, um, and not, by, not only looking at seasonal migration, but rather something like translocality, uh, because that is somewhat, maybe not in economics, but in uh, social science, the overarching um, concept for all of these circular, seasonal, temporarily limited uh, forms of migration. Um, and back to the role of policies, um, the paper uh, is also called Challenges and Opportunities. Um, but so far, it remains a bit vague, <laughs> or actually it's not there at all. What are now the challenges and opportunities? And um, what is, or what are policy makers are supposed to do with regard to agri-food systems, demography, and migration? Thank you.